my understanding that you were feeling a little bit under the weather, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, you were calling a GP, right? You've been in contact with your GP, but you weren't able to attend an appointment? Mm-hmm. Okay, was there a reason for that? You just felt like you, you weren't able to make your own way in? All right, lovely. Well, um, I'm Dr. Michelle. Sorry, I should have uh, introduced myself sooner. Um, I am the community GP, so when you see those little uh, doctor's cars, that's, that's us. Um, and basically, the GPs have asked me to come and visit you today and do an at-home assessment, if that's all right. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. I see, so you called 111 for some chest pain. Okay. Alright, did you not want to go off to A&E? Right, okay. Okay. So the chest pain's actually some anxiety. Because you've not been feeling too well. Dizzy. Alright. No problem. Well, I've got my little uh, bag of tricks here with me. I'm just going to check to make sure I've got everything with me. We travel around so much that I always end up forgetting something. But I think we've got everything with us here today. Okay, so we're assessing for some dizziness and some chest pain overall, just generally feeling unwell. Alright, I do have to let you know if we do find there is an issue with your chest pain, um, I am going to have to take you over um, to A&E for further assessments and bloods, okay? I can't do that with you right now, but I can have a check up with you, okay? Alright, so when did this start? Right, okay. So you've been feeling a bit unwell for a few days now. And you're starting to struggle to get around. Mm-hmm. So if you were to get to the GP it would be it would be a difficult task for you. Okay. Just let me grab my stethoscope here, it's a bit tangled. Right, lovely. Uh before we begin I'm gonna just prep my hands as well. I brought myself some hand sanitizer. Okay. Alright, and I'll pop some gloves on as well. Just to keep you nice and safe. So have you got anyone that you, um, you know, could maybe call if you're not feeling well? A family member or a friend? Okay. Right. Okay. So maybe if you're needing to go for a GP appointment, it might be helpful um, if they could maybe give you a, a drive-in. Um, only if they can, obviously. You know, we're always happy to come in have a look at you. I 
think all the medical services are starting to change up a little bit, aren't they? You can now get your optician's appointments straight from home. You don't have to go in for it. And I understand with the weather as well, of course, you wouldn't want to be going out in the rain, would you? No, I understand that, my love. Right, okay. If I could just have a quick look over you as well. So, you've been saying that you've been feeling really dizzy, right? Mm hmm And you haven't had any accidents recently, fallen over, bumped your head? No, not that you can remember anyway. Oh, I'm exactly the same. So clumsy. I find a new bruise on me and think, oh, where did that come from? Because I'm just always walking into things, eh? Uh -huh. Okay. Just having a look through your hair as well, just to make sure we're not missing anything, okay? I believe you. <laughs> I don't see any uh, head traumas. So if you could just lift your top up for me and I'm just going to have a little listen to your heart, okay? When you've been having chest pains, where is it that you've been feeling those chest pains? Right, okay, so it's been more in your throat. That definitely does um, sign up with anxiety. Have you been feeling anxious in yourself recently? Okay, and what could maybe have brought that on? Right, okay. So there's been quite a lot of life changes recently. But that can stress out just the best of us, can't it, hey? Okay, because your heart's sounding lovely and regular. Um, of course I can't do an ECG for you as well, but I'd have to take you down to a &E in order to do that, okay? Um, so, let's have a listen to your lungs as well now, okay? How's your breathing been? Mm hmm Okay. Let's have a listen. You just breathe normally for me. Okay, and then just take a deep breath in. Out. Okay, very good. And again, deep breath in. And out. Alright, lovely. I'm just going to reach around the back of you, okay? Okay, I'm just going to listen to your lungs from behind through your back now. Just breathe nice and normally. A really good job, that's it. Okay, and then just take a deep breath in for me again. And out. In. So, breathing sounding nice and normal. I'm not hearing any fluid on the lungs or anything like that. Nothing concerning. Um, have you been feeling generally under the weather? Have you been getting uh, sore throats, colds, things like that? Or is it just dizziness and chest pain? Alright. How long have you been feeling un under the weather? 
Okay, so it's been a good few weeks now and it doesn't seem to be getting any better now. Okay, and have you been taking any medication for that? Right, okay, my lovely. Let's have a look at you then. I'm going to have a look inside of your throat as well. Okay, let's see if we can find a reason for that sickness. Have you been to a pharmacy at all? No. So, am I the first port of call for you? Okay. You just open your mouth. I'm going to pop this onto your tongue and just have a look inside. Okay. No, you're doing a great job. Why did she come? That's it. Okay. Could you say, ah? Uh, Could you say ah? Uh -huh. All right. I don't see anything on the back of that throne. I'm just gonna have a little feel of your glands, if you don't mind. So, just keep your neck neck nice and relaxed for me. I'm just gonna palpate down here. You just tell me if it hurts at all, okay? again with the torch and this time I want to have a look inside your eyes, okay? Just make sure it's actually turning on. Why are we not turning on? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to have a look into your eyes, okay? And see if any of the dizziness is related to any sort of vision issues, okay? So, if you could just have a look behind me and I'm just going to use the torch to check your pupil dilation first. Okay. So you just stay nice and still, try your best not to focus on the light. I'm going to be bringing the light gently in and out, just like this, okay. a little bit of um, labouring, laziness within the dilation. It doesn't seem to be acting as quickly and efficiently as it should do. Do you wear glasses at all? Just for reading? Okay. Okay. Right, we'll do some further tests on your eyesight now, okay? Just because I'm a little bit concerned um, towards your uh, vision. So I'm going to test your periphery next, okay? So I want you to stare at my nose and I'm going to bring my hands into your vision and I want you to tell me when you can see them. All right. Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay, good. Okay. Mm hmm Do that one more time. Okay. Alright. Good. Okay. 
Alright, my lovely. We just have a little look at your eyes here. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of pressure around the lids, okay? Just tell me if anything hurts at all. Are you feeling any sort of pain or pressure? Okay, I'm just gonna move up to the forehead. I'm just gonna press on your forehead here. Okay. Okay. How about here? So you're feeling quite a lot of pressure in the temple. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna take your temperature, my lovely. Okay, just stay nice and still. Right, okay. I'll just check again in the ears. And the other ear. Just for good measure. Okay, yeah, you are reading, so you've got a little bit of a temperature. So I am going to take you over to A and E. Um, I'm just going to do a few further checks on you just to make sure um, that my assessment's right to get out all the information that I need to be able to relate to the doctors at the hospital. Okay, so let's carry on with that eye assessment. If you could keep your head nice and still. And just with your eyes, just follow my finger. That's it. Good job. Keep it going. Okay, let's just close this eye and just do it with your left eye now. Okay, and uncover and cover this one. Doing such a good job. All right, sweetheart. So, although your breathing is okay, your eyesight does seem to be quite laboured, and with that temperature as well, there is quite a cause for concern. I'm just going to take your heart rate with my and pulse oximeter, so could you just pop this on your finger now? We'll just take a look at your heartbeat. This will take your blood oxygen levels as well. Okay, and then I'm just going to do your blood pressure to finish. Alright. Okay. Yep, so your heart rate is a little bit elevated. Um, do you commonly take your heart rate and do you know what's usual, regular for your rest of it. Right, okay. So it would be more around 65, 70. We're currently set at 89. Your blood oxygen's looking good at 95. But let's just, for good measure, take our blood pressure before we head off. Just to save the doctors some time when we get there. And then they can get you right in to do an ECG and some bloods, okay? So let's just pop this cuff on. That's it. Okay. I do. Just relax that arm nicely for me. Just sitting very high here, we've got 145 over 90. So we are going to take you down now, all right, my lovely. So, as I said, we'll get some buds and ECGs. Just make sure I've got my 
equipment with me. I've got some bloody ECGs for you. Um, and then they might want to do some further assessments based on their findings. Okay. Oh, it's not a problem. Yeah, well, we, you know, all of us have uh, some days where we're not feeling so great. Okay, so it's a good thing that you called 111. Yeah. Um, and yeah, let's get you down to a &E. Okay. Have you got a jacket that you'd like me to grab for you? It's really, really raining outside. Your umbrella? Alright, I'll go and find that. Just let me pop my coat back on. Okay. I'm going to pop straight into my car and I'll take you straight down. Okay. We have got, um, a blue light as well, but uh, it's not an emergency to put the lights on. All oh, right, right, I'll go and find your umbrella. You just sit tight, okay? Oh, not to worry. There won't be a moment. Okay. 